Folks, here's another question of momentum and an impulse graph. Um, this question, it says, a car with a mass of 900 kilogram is moving to the east and it collides with a freestanding barrier that has a mass of what? Um, 3,200. Guys, if you look at the graph again, the graph here, um, it's shown the motion of the car in the above x-axis which is in the positive direction so that means east is what is positive and this car is moving to the east it collides with a barrier which is its initial velocity is zero um, we're given the mass there it says study the momentum time graph of the car and the barrier shows the answer the, the show the answer question that follows and then now it says if you look at this graph guys this graph it consists of two in the previous um, video where I had the graph of one and that graph it was the it was the velocity time graph but this one it's a momentum time graph for two objects and uh, this curve here it's the what it's the car the car initially it was moving at a, 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 a with a, that momentum so this is the initial momentum and then here this is the time of collision the momentum decreased from 18,000 decreased to 144 in the negative direction so when it collided with that the car changed the direction so this is the final momentum of the car now if you look at the barrier as i've mentioned the barrier was at rest when it collided with the car or the car collided with the barrier and then for this time it was still stationary but during collision its momentum increased and then it moved with that so its initial momentum of the 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 the, the, the barrier it's zero and then its final momentum the barrier it's that so during this time guys you must know it's the time of what collision where the momentum changes if you can see in both the momentum changes it decreases its momentum of the car but the momentum of the barrier increased there okay right let's answer the question 4.1 it says state of the law of conservation of momentum in words now the, the law of conservation of momentum it says the total linear momentum in an isolated system remains constant it's very important to state that according to the exam guideline it says 4.2 it says use the information on the graph to calculate the final speed and direction of the car so the final speed and the direction of the car you will use the final momentum because in the initial momentum you will get the initial velocity in the final momentum you will get the, fi the the final velocity of the car so we will use this formula that says in final momentum is equal to mass times the final velocity and then we take the momentum there the momentum is very important guys to note that it's what it's negative so it's negative 144 and the mass of the car it's 900 and we wanted the final velocity and then we'll divide by 900 the we'll divide by 900 it's very important guys if you punch that in the calculator guys sorry about the music that is on the background it's coming from the neighbor and i did not anticipate that and we divide by 900 so the answer there the v final there it's going to be negative 0 0.16 and that 0 0.16 when we interpret it's an opposite direction it was moving in an opposite direction when it uh, after the collision in that final momentum so it's 0 0.16 um let me rewrite it hope that that sound in the background it does not disturb you it's 0 0.16 where west remember they've chosen for us that the east is positive okay 4.2.2 it says calculate the impulse of the car calculating the impulse of the car another thing that is very important guys when they are colliding 
when they're colliding the, the the barrier and the car their impulse is the same but in opposite direction which is the magnitude of impulse is the same but in opposite direction remember guys when we talk about an impulse we're talking about the vector quantity and an impulse is a product of the force it's a product of the force and the contact time when the force it was exacted all right so calculating that let's use um let's use the formula that let's use it 4.2 4.2.2 which formula we're going to use for an impulse the impulse guys it says impulse is equal to change in momentum that's the formula that we're going to use which is um mv finally minus initial the um for the car we use the details of the car or the quantities of the car which is the mass of the car there it's 900 do we have the final velocity of the car yes we have it's negative 0 0.16 and the initial velocity of the car we do not have we do not have that so but we can get it looking at the formula there um, by saying p is equal to mv initial initial so we'll take the the initial momentum of the car which is 18000 there so we'll say 18000 um divide by 900 18000 divide by 900 so it's going to be what 20 the v initial is what 20 20 meters per second and then we'll put 20 there so if you punch that in the calculator guys um if you punch that in the calculator um that's another way that i'm showing you there let me quickly punch that in the calculator so it's 900 um minus 0 0.16 minus 20. so the answer there it's negative 18,000 144 we interpret that it's 18144 k um since it's an impulse it's going to be newton second newton second in what direction the impulse it says the impulse on the car so the impulse on the car it's in the westly direction alternatively guys the easier one you can say impulse um impulse is equal to p final minus okay as we said the impulse is equal to change in p so we can say initial momentum minus the the final the final momentum minus the initial momentum so the final the final momentum of the car it's negative 144 minus the initial it was 18000 from the graph guys i've taken that from the graph we'll say this minus this right so it's going to be negative 18144 um and then we interpret that negative um so it's going to be what newton second um west because um the impulse that is experienced by the car is going to in the westly direction now the last question it says is the collision elastic or inelastic now guys as 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 we know that we prove that calculation we prove that by calculation so we need to use the kinetic energy so this is 4.3 okay let me use a different color um different color there so it's 4.3 4.3 we will calculate the total kinetic energy the total kinetic energy before which is it's the kinetic energy of the car plus the kinetic energy of the barrier which is it's half the half mv squared which is the mass of the car it's 900 and the initial velocity of the car initial velocity of the car it's 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 20 i calculated here it's 20 square and plus the mass the mass of the barrier it's 3200 you can just say zero because its initial velocity is zero 
so when you punch that in the calculator 0 0.5 times 900 times 20 square 20 square so it's 180 180,000 joules and then let's calculate the total kinetic energy kinetic energy after so that's the kinetic energy of the car that's 900 multiplied by its final velocity the final velocity of the car do we know yes we know it's negative 0 0.16 there's no need to put the negative there because you're going to square it and then the final velocity of the barrier because the barrier it was hit and then it moved so it's mass it's 3200 and its final velocity there um, we do not know we can take its momentum the momentum of the of the barrier it's 18144 if you're looking here it's 18144 we divide by its mass it will give you the, the it will give us the final velocity so the mass is 3200 square so the answer for that let me punch that in the calculator quickly 0 0.5 times 900 uh, times by 0 0.16 square um, okay let me guys i can't show you the calculator here and the um so 3000 now guys it's music in the background and the dark in the background um forgive me i did not anticipate that normally i wait for the quiet moments to do my videos um but that happened i hope it's not disturbing so the answer guys there it's 51,449,76 joules remember the kinetic energy um it's an energy so guys that their total their total kinetic energy before was that and after it was that so we'll say therefore um it's an inelastic in a la stick collision since the total kinetic energy before is not equal to the total kinetic energy after that's how you answer this question guys i hope it makes sense don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel like all my videos share with friends and families see you next time